Paying into a pension is important for all of us, but not everyone has an idea of whether they're paying enough to look after them in retirement. Jonathan Gibson picked up his piggy bank and went to investigate just how serious people are about saving for tomorrow. We're all being encouraged to pay into a pension. But are we saving enough to meet our expectations? I've brought my piggy bank onto the streets to see how seriously we're saving for retirement. For this group just starting their careers, it feels like a long way off. Have any of you got pensions? Yeah, yeah, I pay into one only on a part-time basis though. So um, I work at agency. Um, that's, that's really it. I don't pay that much. But I'm so young, I'm kind of like, I don't want to think about that now. I'd rather just earn a lot of money in short spurts of time so I can travel. But if paying into a pension isn't everyone's priority, for this man, it is. Uh, I, think not, I think when people realise the numbers that they require to, to get to the lifestyle they might have become accustomed to, they'll be surprised. And he's got a point. In fact, according to the pensions industry, it's not just about saving, but saving enough. The secret is early investment. The earlier you invest, the longer the period of investment growth that you've got on those important early contributions. Um, but there's a variety of tricks that we can play in the industry, things we can do to help people to build up their contributions. So a lot of people will start low, but if we put them on an escalating ladder that they know that contribution is going to edge up gently year by year, then in a relatively painless way, they can reach the sort of realistic target contributions we need to get a good pension. I think when I first started working, you, you kind of think it's a lot of money to pay off your salary for a pension that seems like a long time away, but now that it's getting closer, <laughs> it's maybe, it's probably worth it. And the longer we wait, the costlier it gets. According to a recent report, to achieve an annual income of around £22,000 in retirement, including the state pension, we'll need a pension pot of around £405,000. You've been saving, what, five or six years? Five or six years. Yeah. Mabel Ombu is an accountant, so she's used to dealing with figures. And do you know how much you're saving in that pension? No, <laughs> my manager takes care of that. And like so many of us, Mabel doesn't know if she's paying in enough to match her expectations in retirement. I haven't even thought about it yet. Maybe I'll think about it in the next 20 years or so. I'm not really, like, because my manager takes care of everything, so I don't really, I'm not even, normally they give us, like, the reports every quarter, but I don't even look at it. <laughs> I just... I don't know. So you know you've got a pension, but yeah. that's about it? That's about it, yeah, that's it. I think people do need to regularly review uh, their pensions. People will get pension statements, so, you know, don't, don't just put it on the mantelpiece, don't just shove it behind the clock on the mantelpiece. Make sure if you get a pension statement, you look at it, you go and ask your scheme about it, you go and ask your employer about it, you ask your trustees about it, um, you ask your friends and family about it. Advice aimed at helping us to see the wood from the trees so there's no nasty shock when we reach retirement.